We're at a new lake today. Never been here before. I'm trying out a little chatterbait to start. We got this red one here. I think this is the Chatterman Chatterbait Elite. We're gonna try this out. Got a couple lures my buddy said I should try here. Because he's fished here once before and he did pretty well. So definitely just gonna be a learning experience today. See if we get anything, you know? Decent one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, baby. Hell yeah. Oh. Ah, look at that. Hell yeah, baby. I was literally just saying to myself, my problem is I can't stick to one bait. And there we go. Switch back to the chatterbait. We got a nice freaking piggy there. I don't know, this guy's probably two and a half maybe. That's a solid fish though. We'll put him on the scale just to see. Yeah, it's a solid fish right there, man. Nope, just two pounds. Solid two pounder. Still a good fish though. I'd say any day a two pounder for a new spot is pretty good. And you know, as I'm editing this, I just realized like this fish is super skinny. It's got the head of like a three pounder, but it just has not been eating from the looks of it. And like I actually mistook it for a pickerel looking at it at this angle. So I thought that was pretty funny. Back to fishing. Thanks, buddy. He had something on his eye. I don't know what that was. Hell yeah. All right, that was fish number one I casted back in that cove there. And he choked it. Let's get back in there. So I don't know, I don't think that was super deep either. I'm gonna go look back in this cove. See how deep it is. But honestly, that probably was in like five feet of water. So these fish are like pretty shallow. I'll throw it by the log too. I'm gonna try to do for the time being is just fish pretty shallow. And we're just gonna keep fishing the chatterbait because you know that's where we got our first fish on. We're about 30 minutes in. We already got a fish. For a new place, you know, that's that's not bad whatsoever. So I'm just gonna keep grinding. Look around the lake, see what's happening. Hopefully we get some more. thinking and everyone uses red so I'm gonna try a little green pumpkin chatterbait and try that out see if it works it's also a clear windy day not really a cloudy windy day so I feel like the bass are gonna have a little more visibility and something more natural might work along with some vibration with the wind
Oh, I got one. Didn't even feel like a fish, man. Here, buddy. Nice. Yeah, that didn't even feel like a fish. That's a pretty looking bass. Hook came right out. Nice, buddy. See ya. Yeah, I did not even... I mean, it kind of felt like a fish, but... I didn't know if it was or not, so I didn't really pay too much attention. Sure it was. So that's number two in the chatterbait. Number two for shallow fish. I don't really know. I'm just going around the pond. I really haven't had too much action. Wind keeps dying down and coming back up again. So that could be part of the reason we're not getting as many fish. But I don't know, maybe they're just not here. I really haven't seen too much. Oh, the only fish I've actually seen in the water is a perch. And I saw two perch and they were deep. In this place, most of the ground is super like just mossy kind of, like those mossy weeds, or it's just muddy. That's pretty much all. I really haven't found any tall standing weeds or anything like that. Just some rock piles and stuff, but then again, no fish, so I don't really know, man. Just gotta keep trying to figure this place out. Oh, hell yeah. No way. No! Oh, God. Oh, that freaking sucks, dude. You're not going to believe that. That was a smallmouth. I knew there's smallmouth in here, but there's not many. And he was sitting on a bed. I came by here and I was like, you know, there kind of looks like there's a fish on there. Oh my God, that was a good one, man. That was like a, that was like a two and a half right there, man. Oh, damn, man. Spit my freaking Sanko right there. I think I might be able to get him again, though. He was sitting right on the bed. Crap, man. Jesus. I did not expect that. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be a largey sitting on the bed. But sure enough, I casted that Sanko all the way out, and he still ate it. He did not even care. There might be one right here, too. I'm not going to lie. Might be a freaking smallie right here too. No, there's nothing on there. Damn, man. I didn't expect that. That was a nice small one. I might be able to get him. I might. Like, I didn't know if he took the worm or not, and I kept reeling it in, twitching it, and eventually just figured out he was on there. I don't know if the fish is spooked, but I think if I figure out where this bed is again, I can get him. So I bet you're sitting right back on there. We're gonna move on because I can't find that fish anymore, but I'm definitely gonna keep a better lookout for any beds that are around. Now this is looking good back here. We got a nice cove with a little island. And historically, as of today, oh, there's a fish. Anyway, we had our biggest fish off of this island. Or not this island, but the other island pretty much. So maybe it'll be the same for here. There we are. Oh, we missed him. I had something. Might have been just a small fish, I don't know. Cast out there again, see? Oh yeah, I had a fish. Look at that. Almost took the whole freaking trailer off. Probably just bit the tail of it. 